living in and now look where i'm at look where i'm at friends no family nothing <laughs> Welcome to YouTuber Headlines. My name's Oakley. Today we're covering one of the most disturbing family channels on YouTube, The Bram Fam. I've made several videos calling out their gross behavior. I will link my playlist down below. The Bram Fam has over 2.7 million subscribers on YouTube. They have millions of followers on TikTok and Instagram. They're huge on social media. The Bram Fam created this huge social media platform off the backs of their kids. They exploit their kids, no doubt about it. They often take it to another level, a heartbreaking, disgusting level. We're going to talk about that today, unfortunately. Bramty posted a TikTok. Preschool Therapy reacted to her TikTok. He has great points, valid points. Let's listen to it. This is an example of how we can have a good intention of being playful and fun with our kids and how it can turn problematic just like that. And for what? social media views and likes. Exactly. Bramty does this for social media clout, likes, and of course, a big fat paycheck. I've said this numerous times before in my videos. She aggravates, antagonizes, and pushes her son to have a tantrum, to react this way, all for content. If I play. What happened? He indirectly asked you to stop. We should be noting here that he doesn't like it. He wanted me, mommy. Okay, here we can note the distress in their voice and we should consider that maybe we went too far and should pull back. Benefit of the doubt, maybe it wasn't direct enough and you missed it. Stop it! Sorry. Okay, they clearly asked you to stop there. So this is the point where we need to respect their words and let the bit go. You my me! Okay, he is clearly upset, you're laughing at him, and you're teaching him that his voice doesn't matter. Sorry, sorry, Bobo. <laughs> Sorry. Five times he's now asked you to stop and you continue doing it and laughing and giving meaningless apologies. And now we see helplessness. <laughs> Just in case you missed it, that was them quietly crying to themselves, giving up, learning that their voice means absolutely nothing. Parents, we have to stop doing this to our kids and social media, all social media, needs to have child exploitation rules that protect children. That's so upsetting to watch that video. How can you not be upset after watching that video? I want to thank Preschool Therapy for calling that out, to bringing attention to her gross behavior. He has a loud voice on TikTok, over 863,000 followers. I'm happy more creators are calling this out and talking about this because we need to bring awareness to this because children need to be protected online. Bramty removed that TikTok. And she responded on Twitter. This is what she said. There's been some reaction to a TikTok I posted a few weeks ago. It's really not that deep. All my kids are loved, happy, and healthy. Her response is, well, it's what I expect from her. Her behavior is gross, so I expect a reaction like this from her. A lot of viewers responded to her tweet, so let's read some of their comments. And I hope she takes the time to read some of these comments. We're not saying they're not happy, healthy, or loved. Your son wanted you to quit recording. You really do sometimes go too far with some pranks and try to defend yourself on here because you know you don't want to be attacked. It's not hard to consider your actions. It's just water. It's just a joke. Y'all are missing the point. The child said stop. The child said he doesn't like it. The child cried, but she kept on going and ignored him for laughs until he gave up and cried silently. How's that funny? Teaching your kid that him saying no, stop, doesn't matter, and putting him in a situation where he feels helpless after asking you to stop so many times is not healthy at all. And all for likes and laughs? Seriously consider all of the healthy criticism and think about it. Exactly. This is healthy criticism. This should not be ignored. These are not just random opinions. This is problematic behavior that needs to be stopped. Social media platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok should not allow this behavior on their platform. I could go on and on and on. So many viewers left comments on her tweet. Valid comments, healthy criticism. She just ignores all of it. Parents should not be allowed to make hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this to their kids on social media. How is this okay? How is this allowed? How do parents continue to get away with this? A few more comments from Twitter. Bullying your own kid for likes on TikTok. Real sign of love and affection. Great way to teach your son that asking someone to stop doesn't mean anything. Instead, you continue to laugh. Come back when you do something genuinely funny. 
not that deep, yet you deleted it? It seems as if your social media is more loved than anything. How are you even relevant anyways? That's the comment of the day right there. How is this family even relevant? We have to stop making families like this relevant. Bramty and her husband, they are nothing without likes, views, followers, subscribers. You guys are giving them this platform. Based on their current actions, they do not deserve it. They do not deserve the platform they have. It's obvious that Bramty encourages this type of behavior from her son because she uses it as content. So then when he acts a certain way, she calls out the monster to scare him. And of course, she films his reaction all for content. Where are you? Why are you, why are you crying? Come here. Why are you crying? I want the monster You want the monster? So she calls out the monster to scare him and films him getting upset, him crying. She also forces her son to watch scary videos and she films this. She makes TikToks out of it, Instagram reels, and YouTube videos. She monetizes all of this. She monetizes scaring her kids. This is another TikTok from Bramty. It says, family influencers at the top and they're playing the song Major Bag Alert. This is a popular TikTok everybody's doing. And usually in this TikTok, you hold up or talk about whatever's bringing you the most money in life. And as you can see, they're holding their kids. She's patting on her stomach because currently she's trying to get pregnant. So they know their kids bring in the bucks. People watch for the kids. This is gross. This is so gross. I can hear some people now say, oh, this is a joke. No, this is not a joke. This is the truth for family influencers. The kids bring in the views. The kids bring in all the money. And they're acknowledging it. Currently, they're trying to get pregnant, but her husband has a vasectomy. But they put up so many clickbait videos about pregnancy. Fourth baby's on the way. No, he has a vasectomy. She's even said, there's no way I can get pregnant. But they still continue to clickbait these pregnancy videos to get views, to be relevant. Without talking about kids, without having their kids in their videos, they're not relevant. This is a family channel that would collapse without the kids. I was looking through all of her TikToks. She actually made the same video with her daughter that she made with her son where she sprayed him in the face and preschool therapy reacted to her TikTok. Watch this. <laughs> She's spraying the little girl directly in the face just to get a reaction, just to get some type of content. And she says, mommy too much. And Bramty keeps doing it. She keeps spraying her in the face. I found this comment on the TikTok. Children don't have the comprehension skills of an adult to recognize it's just a joke. All they know is they're asking their mom to stop and she won't. Often family vloggers, family influencers come back and say, oh, we're just joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. That comment right there says it all. Kids don't understand it's a joke when you're yelling at them, bullying them, spraying water in their face. They don't understand it's a joke. All they know is they're asking you to stop and you won't stop. I'm asking you guys to report any video that you feel needs to be reported on YouTube. Everyone can use their own judgment. And I'm not just referring to the Bram fam. I'm saying any family vlogger, any family influencer, any video on YouTube, I don't care who it's about. If it needs to be reported, let's start reporting these videos. If you click on the three dots on the right hand side, it says report video. There are a lot of different choices. I can't read those off in this video. I'll probably get flagged for saying some of the words. Use your best judgment. We need to start reporting any video on YouTube where a kid is being mistreated, where a kid is being bullied. YouTube wants us to do that, so let's do it. Thank you for watching today. If there's something you would like to share, leave a comment. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok at YouTuber Headlines. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.